Welcome back to Scorpion Builds. This video is going to show you how to replace a leaking Moen 1225 shower cartridge, including four pro tips you won't want to miss that will make your installation easier and give you that professional look and longevity. Let's do it. After shutting off the water to the house, open the shower valve to release the pressure on both the hot and cold side. Then using a smaller flat blade screwdriver than I am using here, Remove the cap on the front of the knob, then remove the screw holding the knob on using a number two Phillips screwdriver and remove the knob. Next, remove the two screws holding on the beauty ring using that same number two Phillips. You may need to carefully cut the caulking around the edge with a utility knife and then remove the beauty ring and the collar by pulling it straight off of the valve. Under that, you'll find a small locking pin using a small flat blade screwdriver to gently lift it up. Now this leads us to tip number one. If the locking pin won't come out easy, then you might need to push on the cartridge to release any pressure on the pin, and then it should come out easily. Once the pin has been removed, you can pull the cartridge straight out using a pair of pliers. Now is a good time to clean up the valve. Remove any caulking and inspect the valve for any damage. Tip number two, before installing the new cartridge, make sure to do a side-by-side -side comparison to make sure you have the correct cartridge. There may be some color differences, but the size and placement of the O-rings should remain the same as the old cartridge. And before you install the new cartridge, we have tip number three. You will want to lather up the new cartridge with some plumber's grease. This will help you to slide it in easier and prevent you from cutting the seals when pushing it in. It also helps the cartridge to move more smoothly when operating it when you're all done. After you have the cartridge lubed up, you can go ahead and install it, making sure that the holes in the cartridge line up with the holes in the valve. On other models, there are alignment tabs to do this for you, but with this one, you have to do it for yourself. Now make sure the cartridge is fully seated, then install the old locking pin if you don't have a new one. Now we are going to install this new Danco tub and shower trim kit since the old one was pretty nasty, and it will install the same way as the old one did, starting with the collar, the beauty ring, and then the handle. And tip number four is to make sure you use a clear bathroom grade caulking to seal around the beauty ring so you don't get water behind the valve and into the wall causing damage. Thanks for watching.